July 22, Wednesday, Feast of St. Mary Magdalene A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. Mary stayed outside the tomb weeping, and as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord and then reported what he told her. The Gospel of the Lord I have seen the Lord. The Gospel is proper for the Feast of Mary Magdalene mentioned in various Gospel narratives. Mary is one of those women who assist Jesus and the Apostles using their own material resources. Mary is present at Calvary and is a primary witness to the Resurrection. Tradition sometimes identifies Mary Magdalene as having been a sinner. However, this is not clear in the Gospels, nor is it universally held in the Church. Mary's fame comes from the fact that she first sees the risen Jesus and is given the commission to be a messenger of Easter joy to the Apostles. Thus, Mary Magdalene is known as Apostola Apostolorum, the Apostle to the Apostles. She proclaims, Jesus lives. The fact of Jesus' resurrection is central to the Christian faith, for without it, everything would disintegrate. There would be no church, no Bible, no sacraments, no salvation, no hope of our own resurrection. How can we be today's Mary Magdalene's and give witness to Christ, our risen Lord?